Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Lulu. Lulu is actually a failed bearish gap today. I didn't take any trades in this. I didn't do anything with this. It's a failed bearish gap. And I really got to hand it to myself because I called it as in a failure immediately. So I never called a trade in it. I didn't do a trade in it. Nobody in the room did a trade in it. I kept everybody out of trouble shorting this thing. And the the fact is that it, it really, the chart is lower, but this just failed today. It's pretty obvious that it's a failure today. But I could tell that traders were trying to short this in here in the 15 minute. But I knew it wasn't going to get break. I knew even if it came in here, it was just for a quick come in here. I knew this was not going to break and go red today because it failed. It failed right away. It failed immediately at 931. And then what? this is the reason this is blowing up here is because people actually were shorting this here in the 15 minute and they got stopped out of it. Here's everybody getting stopped out of it. Right, right through here. So do I buy this? No. I can read a failure, but it doesn't mean I go in the opposite direction. Uh, that's not what I do. Okay, I'm trading the gaps in the right direction. If they fail, they fail. Then I don't do them. I do something else. So I did something else today. But I just I just couldn't be happier with my own uh, read on things lately. Just seeing things so clearly. And this is the benefit of spending time focusing on one strategy is not only do you do well then to trade your strategy correctly, like I'm doing, but then you will also see when something doesn't work. And then you save yourself the loss. I saved myself a loss in this today by spotting the failure, and I just chose to do something else. So I didn't waste any money in this, didn't waste any time, didn't get stressed the heck out. Can you believe how stressed you would have been waiting for this to break in here today? You could have retaken in here, you could take it in here in the five, or retaken it here in the five, and then, you, then you're up in here, but you're down from this loss, and you're waiting, 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 waiting. You'd be stressed the heck out. You'd be suffering. That's what I call it. You'd be suffering. I didn't suffer in this today at all. I never took a trade in it. Here was the failure. Let's let me just see where this is going here. Well, it's at least going to 67, but I think you could go to 68. We'll see it here. Jeez. So I think this is where this is going today. And in a dream world all the way up here. But the fact is the chart's lower, okay? It just gapped down and opened in a horrific area here today. And I did see it this morning. I did see it this morning, and I wasn't all uh, crazy about it. I watched it. I wanted to see it open and go red like a banshee, but it didn't do it. And then I saw the failure, and then that was the end of the story. Uh, let's go over here. Whew, man, so glad I didn't do this today. Experience, 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 experience. There's no substitute for experience. It's one of the things with traders. Traders give up and they go on and they go from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. And they never become experienced then in anything. There's no substitute for experience. The only way to get it is to trade. The only way to get it is to learn something good and trade and trade and trade and trade and stick with it. And the thing you learn has to be good, that's for sure. But you got to stick with it. I called this immediately as a failure. Double bottom bounce at 63.50 immediately and over the high of the day. And through 64, boom, that's it. Done. And guess what? Reverse swoosh. Boop. All the way up here, this is a reverse swoosh. A dollar fifty run up in the first five minutes of the day is a reverse swoosh. The stock was looking to be shorted. This is not a buy. And here you can see where would you have bought this today? There is no correct entry to buy this today. It is a failed bearish gap. In order to buy something as a bullish gap or to short something as a bearish gap or to do something in any direction. There has to be a correct entry and that means a trigger point and a place to put the stop and there's nothing correct in here. Why? Because it's a failed bearish gap and this didn't flip around and blow until it booped over the high of the day and in the moment that it did that it just blew higher. There's no buy in here. None, none, none. It's just a failure. So what are you going to do? I'll probably watch this tomorrow to continue down lower and fix itself and see if it's going to fully, fully, full on break. But this could rally all the way up to 68 today or possibly 69. You know, the 67 area might be it, but I doubt it. Well, it's 2 o'clock. It didn't get over 67. We'll see if it does. Anyways, nothing to do here. A uh, really nice chart that played out very well and were beautiful trades for me back here in June. Uh, followed through and had the break. 
but then did this big rally. Didn't go anywhere, though. Came down on top of itself. The gap today confirms the chart is breaking and it's going to go lower, but today it's failing. Why? It just is. Sometimes things do not want to do what they're supposed to do the day of the gap. You watch them for the second day of the gap. It'll be interesting to see how this thing actually uh, flushes out tomorrow. I knew it was on a bad area where it was coming down in here today. And actually, the immediate failure is no surprise. So read this correctly. The beautiful thing about learning how to trade and doing the correct actions is, A, you, you make money doing things when they set up and you know what to look for and you see it and you do it. And B, when you see it fail, you don't do it. This is where the discipline comes in. I did like this today. It would have been great if it could have worked. It didn't. Do I care? No. I didn't lose any money in this. I did something else and I made money in what I did. So that's the end of the story. You can't control these things. If they want to do what they want to do, they want to do what they want to do. Here it is over 67. So this is probably rise up to here. I mean, I have some people that like to do my calls on failures in the room. I'm certainly not teaching people to do that. But when I say something, it's a failure and I get off of it, that's it. And this was an immediate failure. It was pretty easy to see. Anyways, this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information, feel free to email me. The upcoming gap course is this week. The class is Saturday and Sunday, September 14th and 15th. My email is Melissa at the stockswish.com. If you want more information, then email me about signing up. This did what it was supposed to do today in after the failure, okay? Just not going anywhere, nothing to do. But tomorrow I'll watch it for the continuation. Whether or not it's going to do it is really going to depend exactly where it closes here today. We'll have to see. Um, but stay away from this today. Kept myself out of trouble, didn't do anything with it, spotted the failure, did something else, and made money. So, again, the benefit of sticking with one strategy and even particularly in one direction is you not only get good at doing that thing in the right direction, but you also can spot failures in the opposite direction. And that's what this is doing here today. So have a great day, everyone. If you have any questions, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks and have a great day.